How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel and today what I've got is an Akadi player review, the Inform one. Just got his first Inform card which is pretty awesome. He's probably going to get so many Inform cards over the course of the year. So if you guys do go into enjoy this review, make sure you drop a like down below. Also please do subscribe to the channel if you are new around here, that would be awesome. So we'll start off by having a look at Akadi's stats in his card. Now starting off he's got 80 pace which not is not really fantastic with a few more special cards over the course of the year. He's probably going to get quite a few more inform cards, judging by last year anyway, he got absolutely loads, and the team of the season as well, he's probably got more special cards to come, so he's got 80 pace, hopefully, if he does get a few more, he'll have quite a bit higher than that, 78 dribbling again, pretty average, not fantastic to be honest, it's not bad, but not great, and then he's got 87 shooting, which definitely is his standout stat, really good shooting, not really too many players that are much better than 87 shooting to be honest, also got 28 defending, doesn't really matter at all, and he's got 65 passing, and 72 physical. The 72 physical kind of is a bit low, it seems like. I think in-game you'll be able to see its physical seems a lot better than 72 anyway. So, if you just look at his height, he's 5'11", so pretty average height, really. He's going he's to be smaller than most defenders he, come up to, okay, he comes up against, because most most are normally about 6 foot plus, really. So he's kind of smaller, but uh, yeah, he's got medium low wear rates, which isn't fantastic. It would be a lot better if he had a high attacking work rate, but not terrible work rates. It's just not great either. His preferred foot's right, and he's got a four-star weak foot, which I like a lot, but uh, only three-star skill moves. But again, if you guys do watch the reviews in the past, then you probably know I'm not really a skiller. I bought him for 73,000 coins. Uh, he's, probably, he's currently going for around 70,000. He was around 90,000 before uh, Ultimate Scream came out, but then he started dropping in price because everyone was just opening packs. And uh, for me, he played, he played four games, scored six goals, and got two assists. All the games in Foot Champions as well, so not a bad return from him. So now moving on to his in-game stats, he has got some really nice stats, as you guys can probably see. Uh, the ones that stand out to me are, the, are, are anyway, on his shooting that stand out to me is his attacking position and his finishing. His finishing being 93 is absolutely unbelievable. I don't think I've, I've had a card like on my account that's had higher finishing than 93, anywhere near that. So that, that finishing is absolutely incredible, really. For an 86 rated card, having 93 finishing is unbelievable. Then, if you think about it, if you look at his shooting, his long shots is really dragging down his shooting. It could be so much higher if he had decent long shots. He's only got 73 long shots, as you can see. Then all his other shooting stats are really, really good. So definitely, uh, it's, it was one that stand out is his finishing and his attacking position, in which you'll be able to see in game is pretty decent as well. Also, the other stats that stand out to me is on his physicality. He's got jumping 94. His aggression really does drag down his uh, his overall physical. Really, he's only got he's only got 56 aggression, but he's got 94 jumping. You'll be able to see in the clips. He wins a lot of headers. Then also, his headed accuracy as well being 90. Mainly when you're going to be crossing it into him, he's, he's actually going to be hitting the target when he heads in. He's also got some nice composure as well. 84 composure is very decent. So you kind of expect he's going to be a very physical player who can finish it, who can just finish chances very easily. Anyway then guys, now I've got all that out of the way, let's go jump into all the in-game clips that I got with the Inform Maro Akadi. Okay then guys, so now I'm jumping into all the in-game clips that I got with Akadi. All the goals, all the assists, and all the bad moments as well. So... We'll go through how we normally do, we're going to start off with the positives, then we'll go into the negatives that I found, and then we'll give him an overall rating out of 10. And also what I'm going to be doing in this video as well, I'm going to be kind of comparing him to some of the strikers that he's up against. So it's something that I've not already done in the player reviews, but I'm going to be comparing him to players like Belotti, Immobile, them type of similar players. So we'll just jump straight into things, and the first positive that I've got to find, that I've found with Icardi, is his finishing. His finishing is really good, but at times it let me down, I thought it was relatively disappointing. He's got 93 finishing. But he did, he did miss a few chances, to be fair to him. His finishing on his right foot, on his strong foot, is insane. His finishing, I, I, don't, I don't even know if he missed a chance on that. He might have missed one or two. But pretty much all his chances on his right foot, he was scoring. It was mainly on his left foot. I played him as a left striker in a 4 one 2 one 2 formation. And um, he wasn't really, he just didn't really finish as many chances on his left foot. But his right foot finishing is insane. Also, his shot power in game. You notice the shot power so much. There's one towards the end of the clips. So he was on the edge of the box. He literally absolutely rifled it into the top corner. Absolutely unbelievable strike. So, his finishing is like really inconsistent. Some of his finishes are absolutely insane. Literally, he's like putting them right in the top corner. Got a really good shot. And other times, he's like, he's not really hitting the post. I like, know, he's, really, he's not really hitting it wide or anything. He's mainly like hitting the post. Or it's a really good save from the keeper. So, pretty much all his shots that he had really were on target or even hit the post. So, his shooting's relatively consistent in that, in that respect anyway. But I thought he could have probably scored a few more goals with the chances. But overall, his finishing, it's, it was a bit of a disappointment. It was a bit of a difficult disappointing being that uh, because it's 93, but it's still very, very good in game. Now, another positive that I found with Akadi was a bit of a surprise one, right? It's his passing. Now, he actually kept uh, he actually for passing anyway. He kept the ball very well. Didn't really give the ball away too often when he passed it. And overall, his passing was actually very solid for him. He got a few assists, 
wasn't lucky to get uh, wasn't lucky to not get any not get any more assists really because uh, he played some nice passes through and my team didn't manage to finish the chance away. Well, I say my team it was mainly me probably. So um, definitely, it's, it's passing is actually a very like underrated stat and it's quite a surprise really. Another one is a relatively obvious one. It's his overall physicality and his heading. His headings are very good. He's winning headers from goal kicks, which is a, a huge positive for a striker. Also, he was winning he was winning headers as you can see uh, from a few of the clips when I was crossing it into the box. So he's only 5'11", but his jumping definitely makes up for that. He's kind of like Belotti in that respect, where he has, uh, where they both have really high jumping, so they can actually get up to headers and actually beat the centre backs as well. So that's pretty decent there. If we just quickly go on to the negatives that I found with Icardi, the first one is a relatively obvious one. It's his pace. He can't. He just literally can't run in behind. He can't. He did. He did do it a few times. You'll be able to see in the clips. But um, he's when he's up against when the defender next to him, he just can't. Like the defender's too. So I put one clip in where the where the defender literally just caught him up straight away. If it was a if Merton, it was Mertens who played in a Cardi. If it was the other way around, if it was a Cardi playing in Mertens, then that probably would have been a goal or at least a one-on-one -on -one chance. So definitely his pace isn't really good enough. Also, his dribbling is a bit of a letdown as well. And and probably I mean, mainly his ball control. His touch is absolutely terrible. He literally is. But it's just his touch is awful and he can't really keep the ball very well from controlling the ball. So also don't try and take on players with the cardi as well. He's terrible at that. But anyway, comparing him to Belotti and uh, and Immobile, I would put him last to be honest. I preferred Belotti's card and I really like uh, I, I prefer Belotti's card a lot. Belotti's my favourite out of the three to be honest. And uh, then there's Immobile in form as well, which I just don't think he's as good as. So overall, guys, I'm gonna give um, I'm gonna give Cardi a seven and a half out of ten. I thought he was decent, but he did disappoint me a bit. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're on here. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one.